Hey guys, what's up? So, um, I'm going to do a vlog, but it's going to be a little bit different, as you can see on screen. And then you see uh, a beautiful church on the screen. I just got back from San Antonio. <clears throat> Excuse me. I just got back from San Antonio, so it's, this video is going to be uh, a little bit longer. It's going to be uh, me showing pictures of where we went, because I didn't want to record... Uh, I thought about it a few times, but basically, I just wanted to enjoy the trip with my family. So, I didn't end up recording anything or doing any vloggy type activities, but we did take some pictures and we did take some video. So, I thought I'd set it this, you know, you see this up, like I got Movie Maker up to do the, uh, the webcam stuff and just regular picture stuff up here so I'm gonna show you all some pictures and however long this takes that's how long it'll be so it might be an extended episode um, who knows how this is gonna go let's just jump into it uh, I'm not gonna edit this real heavily so there's your background and let's get to it so this church right here uh, was one of the first places we went once we got down to <clears throat> San Antonio and I feel horrible because I don't remember the name of the church. But if you're ever in San Antonio, Texas, this church is supposedly where the remains of Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, um, I got another picture. It has the names. But like the main Texas heroes that we grew up learning about in school, uh, this is where their bones are supposed to be interred. Uh, it's one legend. Uh, it could be their bones. It could not be, but there you go. So the remains of the Alamo heroes are entombed in the chapel at the left-hand side of the entrance to the cathedral. And here it is. Uh, it looks like three of them. So that'd be Davy Crockett, Jim Bowie, and someone else. Probably going to be a name that I should know as a born and bred Texan, but here we go. So what are the names? Oh, William Travis, of course. Uh, that's who I was thinking, but I couldn't think of the, f the first name. All I could remember was Travis, and I didn't know if that was his first or last name. It's his last name. Uh, but there you go. So, uh, they were formerly buried somewhere else. They were exhumed, brought here. Uh, it says they were exposed to public view for a year in 1938. That big thing of gold... I don't know what they call it. I'm not Catholic. Sorry to anyone Catholic out there. Um, I was told it was it's all real gold. Uh, I don't think it's gold plated. It could be. I was told it was it's pure gold. So take that as you will. You can look it up for yourself if you want to. Um, I'm gonna take it at face value and say it is the Catholic Church. They're super 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 rich. More than likely, it's probably real gold. This is one of the stained glass windows. Uh, if you're anything like me, you're amazed at this sort of thing. It's just so beautiful. Uh, I wanted to get a picture. They actually had a ton. Oh, let's see. No, I didn't get another picture, so I'll go back. Hold on. Uh, I think there's like eight altogether, maybe, maybe ten altogether. I can't remember exactly. Just beautiful stained glass windows. I uh, got a closer look. There is a guy praying there, so I didn't want to get too close. You could walk around there to where he was to light candles and things. Uh, I felt that it would be a little bit disrespectful, so uh, I didn't go back there to get a picture. But I got I did get I was able to get a little bit closer, so you can see a little bit more. The organ uh, from where that gold thing is. If you were to turn around and look back at the other side of the church, that's actually up there. And this is all the mind you. We were allowed to go in here. The public's allowed to go in here. But this is a an actual Catholic church. They hold services or mass or whatever you whatever you call it. Uh, they still do it every Sunday. So this is a open. This is a real working church that this is all takes place in. Now this is outside of the Alamo itself. There's a huge statue with the heroes carved into it and the angel and Texas. You know, all its finery. Uh, for any born and bred Texan, this is a this is a place of almost like pilgrimage. A famous "Remember the Alamo" was their battle cry. It, exp it inspired the next wave, and we were actually able to 
you know, win the day in the end. So, a little bit of history lesson there for you. This is, uh, of course, above the statue. Um, don't really, I mean, I guess I could have looked it up, but that's not how, that's not how I do things. So, this is actually a girl in a bikini top. Um, chilling. I have no idea who she's supposed to represent. Maybe, maybe Texas itself. I'm not sure. And over there, if you look, I, I'm pointing. You probably can't see that, but uh, if you look over to the left, you can see the Tower of America's right there, and the outskirts of the wall of the Alamo. I don't know what it's called. Grounds, I guess. And this is on the side, so you can see above, uh, the guy on the left is Travis, the guy on the right is Davy Crockett. All the names of the defenders who died are actually carved into this statue, it's pretty cool. There's the Alamo itself, um, very famous structure, you've probably seen it, whether you're from Texas or not, you've probably seen a picture of this building. Uh, very small, um, it looks big but it's really really not it's super super small it was smaller than I remembered but of course the last time I went I was a little kid so everything looks bigger than here are the kids uh, it was one of the cannons on the ground just heard a weird sound I don't know where it came from now we're on to the river walk after we left the Alamo we went to the river walk which is famous in San Antonio um, literally they built this river. It's a naturally flowing river. It's, it was there before, but in order to... The guy... We, we took a tour. In order to sage the, the floodwaters, because it flooded real bad back in the 20s, like killed a bunch of people, they built this canal for it to run through and built all these series of floodgates to where it would do it. I mean, it was... Uh, an undertaking you know what I mean but it's 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 a naturally flowing river but they've built it in to, to try and harness it I guess is what you should what I could say let's see what's next oh there's me <laughs> that's a Facebook photo I took uh, to frozen margarita river walk it's it's a Texan thing if you were here you'd understand that this is that's the height of you know relaxation frozen margaritas and chilling on the river walk this is a boat ride it takes you all the way around the area of the river walk um, it actually goes through the middle I think this is actually it on the right hand side of the picture you can sort of see the where the thing is that's a stage and they're performing a show and on the left is the benches that you can sit on to watch the show and the boats go through there's the show. Uh, they were actually, it wasn't an actual show. This was actually them practicing because the actual show was going to be for uh, Sunday. And this was Wednesday when we got down there. So they were actually up there practicing. So we did get to see them practicing their little dances and stuff. It was pretty cute. Uh, just another shot of the river. I think I took a couple of these. Um, I, I wish I could tell you what these buildings are in the picture, but. Uh, I really, I, at this point, I don't know. I was just taking shots down the river because it was just really cool. I took a picture of this building for a reason, and I don't remember what it was. This was a movie theater. That guy has a crazy camera rig. I don't know what he was doing that day, uh, but I saw him uh, twice. I saw him here, and then I saw him on one of the boats, like standing in the front of the boat using that thing. But this was called the Aztec Theater. I think it used to be a movie theater, and then they changed it. Now it's like a dance, or not a dance hall. Uh, I think they do like plays and stuff there. But that that's like the, a remnant from the 30s or whatever of the, when they built it. Uh, the Aztec had pretty cool. Liz said this was something, and now I don't remember what it is. Look it up. San Antonio, brown building, cool stuff. This was the next day. This was Thursday. We went to SeaWorld down there. And, you know, don't stab me. Uh, I, I know all about their past problems. But unless I get real lucky in life, I'm probably never going to get to take my kids to, like, Alaska where they might get to see orcas in their natural habitat. So if I want them to be exposed to these creatures and me get to see the wonder on their face, this is the place to go. So, if if you hate me now for going to SeaWorld, I'm really sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. 
This was uh, an aquarium. These two little seahorses have their tails wrapped around. I don't know if that's a courting ritual or if they're play fighting or what, but very, very cute. There's a little bit of a better picture. It almost looks like a, like almost starting to form a heart. It was, v I mean, very adorable. Let's see, what is this? There's sting, oh, those are stingrays. This was a huge, like, aquarium wall. Like, you know, like you see in the movies, a full wall in the aquarium. And just so many fish swimming around. Uh, you can see a little fish with the thing sticking out of its head. Uh, middle to bottom, right there. A uh, white fish. Look like a unicorn, crazy. Don't know what it's called. Amazing, stingrays all over the place. Very cool. Another shot of the fish in the tank. Very cool looking. Got sharks. That was what we went down here for. Freaking sharks, man. I couldn't get a super good shot because they were freaking flying through the tank. You can sort of see the one in the background there. Pretty cool. This diver was in the big tank that we were that I was showing like at first. I guess he was going to, I guess what they do is they put the food in like a tube, like a PVC pipe, and they put it in the water, and the fish nibble on it all day, and then when he went down there to take it out, he takes the food out, and he, and he shakes it, and it like causes it, and I think I got a picture, yeah, I mean, that's, it's sort of not, it's not as intense, <laughs> I wish I had taken video, but they're actually swirling around, and they're eating the food, it's pretty cool, like a little feeding frenzy, we found Nemo. Uh, poisonous frogs, beautiful. I always find it amazing that nature is like. You see how beautiful this thing is? It will kill you. Sea lions, very cool thing they do there. Uh, you can buy a little like uh, plate of fish. It comes with like I think four fish because, and it's like six bucks. Could not do it. I had to let the kids do it. I really don't think I got any pictures of them feeding them no i didn't but these are them see they're sitting there and they're barking for food <laughs> they're like dogs it's the, i mean it, like sea dogs i guess it, they're they're amazing animals and so i bought uh, a plate of the fish and each kid john jesse and anna each got to feed got to drop one in and they you know they snatch it up and and then of course there was one left so yours truly i had to do it it was amazing the and the, and the guy that i was doing was just sitting there like like with his mouth wide open just waiting for me to drop it he knew the food was coming beautiful intelligent creatures it was they were they were just so adorable it loved them and this was the show they do it was actually the, the, this wasn't the full-on show they do this was a, a this is how we train them type show that it was really fun and I highly recommend it to anyone who wants to see these animals uh, I mean it was just, it was great it was a great show very very hot as you could probably see on my my brown ish red face right now and on the I don't know how well y'all can see that and it's coming out I don't know on, the, on my on the screen it looks brown but it's actually that's actually red uh, that guy was very funny that's the the two-year-old seal that they were bringing out he was that was the first time in front of a crowd and then they had the bigger one that was more well trained been doing it for a while this oh uh, the two-year-old actually turned two years old on the day we were there so they have like a uh, I guess it's like the, he said it was a frozen gelatin cake made out of gelatin and it had fish in it and they pushed it in there and let him go out to play and and uh, like eat it and it was pretty funny uh, I'll go back real quick and that's it right there in the center and it, I mean he was just grabbing onto it and flinging pieces across the pool very cool stuff this was an amazing show. This was the Beluga Whales and Dolphin Show. Uh, very cool stuff. Let's see how many pictures. Those are the trainers. You can see the what, two white heads in front of the trainers. Those are Beluga Whales. Beautiful animals. To be that close to something that massive was just, it was, um, it was really cool. This was a, a, a baby Beluga. And apparently the majority of the animals that you see in SeaWorld are actually born there. So, like, in, in, or in a SeaWorld park somewhere. They don't take animals out of the wild. And here, the, these are uh, some of the only ones that I guess the trainers are allowed to get into the water with anymore. Here's uh, one of the trainers riding right by in front of us, like two feet. Uh, 
just kind of riding on the back of this massive well. Very cool stuff. And there's the other trainer coming the other direction. It was amazing. And then this was kind of cool. They go under, and the whale like gets up against their feet and pushes them. It was really cool. You can sort of see them through the water down there in the deep. That water is cold, too. Like I think like 50 degrees or less. I mean, it's really chilly. These girls, they earn their paycheck. Uh, this was right next to us. They, uh, she's giving them some treats for a job well done sort of thing. This little, they, they pulled a girl out of the crowd. This is when the dolphin part of the show started. And they pulled a girl out of the crowd to... Uh, you know, go and feed the dolphin. I think she got to got to pet it. It was pretty. I say pet, but I don't know what else you would call it. Here they are jumping out of the water. I'm, to see this up, I mean, in person is cool. Um, I hope to actually get to go out into like the Gulf of Mexico or like off the coast of Florida and actually see these things in person because I can. I mean, that's not a far fetched dream. But these dolphins are fast, dude. When they go through the water, I mean, it's like. I mean, they're gone. By the time you see them, they're already gone. I mean, it's crazy. A lot of these pictures, I think, I just, like, they start, something would happen. I just lifted my phone up and was like, click, click. I didn't even, like, aim or anything. So, I don't know how, see, like, that one can't really see all that much. That one's just barely coming out of the water. So, that one's in the, in the flip, I guess, a back flip, maybe. Okay, yeah. This is the the ski show. I don't know. It doesn't look like I got many pictures of this because this was like towards the end. One of the little jet ski, or not jet ski, jet packs, water jet packs. Pretty cool. The ski show there is second to none. I mean, I, I've seen ski shows. I saw a ski show at SeaWorld back in like 88 when I was a little kid and we went. I would highly recommend it. Even if you think, oh, I'm not going to SeaWorld to see a ski show. Do it if you get the chance because it is very cool. Here he was, like going under the water, like this, like wave, using the force of it. Pretty cool. There was a lot more to it. And this is an orca, of course. There was a lot more to it, but apparently I just was so into the show I missed it. We were like, I was literally about five feet from that orca. This, we had the, the best seats ever. Just great. My phone was so close to dying, I was afraid I wouldn't get any pictures of this show. The, that's, that's the big one. These are the big ones. There's actually a, a younger one that we'll see in a bit, but this is one of the big ones. This thing was massive right there next to me. Amazing to see these things in person. And see, the trainers don't go in the pool anymore. I mean, of course, when the orca decided, hey, guess I, I can eat these people, they decided it was probably not a good idea to do it anymore. Look at that thing. I cannot under explain to you how flippin' cool it was to be that close to one of these creatures. They are so beautiful. There, that was like right in front of us. Probably right. No, that's that's one of the babies. You can tell because the fin on the back isn't curved down. I don't know if that's a thing. Like if they cur if it curls down for a reason or what. But the younger ones. Uh, dorsal fin was straight up like a shark's or whatever you want or a dolphin or and the the two bigger ones dorsal fin was kind of folded down it was i don't know i don't know anything about these creatures really <laughs> except how beautiful and majestic they were and that tank right there is like 40 feet deep it's crazy all right so let's see what this is i don't Oh, this was the... Uh, I did get video of the feeding frenzy. Sorry, the pause button keeps popping up on there. But that's the... It was, it was sort of calming down by that time. But that's the fish all swirling around the food right there, trying to get to the food. Pretty neat little thing. This was Liz going on... Uh, they have like a Sesame Street thing, and this was Liz going on there on their uh like a little kitty ride we thought it was going to be a more of a drop and i'm only going to play a little bit of this let me um there's no sound on, or i can't turn it down so it might get loud if i say something but watch that's all it does right there it just goes like hold on let's see it'll go up 
We thought it was going to drop faster and be not. I mean, it's a little. That's all it did right there. That's all it does. And it does it like three times. The kids loved it. Liz was like, I can't believe I did this. This was stupid. <laughs> all right. Here's a, a little bit of the ski show. See? Okay. Hold on. That guy, the announcer guy was loud, but you saw that guy laying on his back and he gets pulled off the concrete. The guy was saying that, he, that the boat was going to just take off and just tear him off the concrete. I guess that was a joke, and so I recorded that clip, and it, it was nothing like that. All right, so this, uh, I'll let it play, and you can check it out. All right, hey, guys. Uh, so we just got back from our trip to San Antonio. I didn't record any of it. just wanted to have a good time with the family. I got pictures I'm going to show you guys in the vlog. We just got back, and we can hear the dogs freaking out. We've been gone three days, right? Three full days. We had someone watching the dogs for us. We just got home. The dogs are, they're not freaking out now because I think they're listening to me talk. But I'm going to record us as we go inside. I'm going to record them, I guess I should say, as we go inside. So. Okay. I just stopped abruptly. I thought I kept recording, but I think I stopped it. And then this next video, yeah, this next one is as uh, the dog's reaction. Okay. okay. Is it recording? Oh, my, my phone is so jacked up right now. There. Okay, okay, it is recording. My right, phone was go. dead. You can see him through the door. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> They're losing it. He won't even, he's jumping up against the door. All right, who wants to be the one to go in first? Oh my goodness! Inside. Come on. I know we're back. Inside. Come on. Oh, oh, they just pulled down, down the blanket. blanket. Oh, oh, my God. God. Don't, don't jump on me yet. <laughs> oh, there we go. Our Gabilbo <laughs> and dog loving for us tonight. Say hi, Ranger. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Hey, so that was our trip to San Antonio. Uh, I had to actually throw this in because I was just sitting here editing all this up and everything. And uh, my sniffles come back every time I freaking turn on the camera. But for some reason, the very end of the video, all my audio is gone. My commentary, the video, I mean, the audio is just completely gone. So I have no clue what happened. But I wanted to throw this in just to know that, you know, that's the end. That was all the videos. Uh, you know, I just basically spent the next, like, three minutes of the video talking about how this is the end of the video and how we had a blast. We did. We love San Antonio. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, if you could leave me a like. Because, I mean, no one's watching these. I'm doing these just for fun. But it would be cool to know that some people are enjoying them. Um, otherwise, you know, if you ever get a chance to go to San Antonio, I highly recommend, I say yes, go for it. Go to SeaWorld, do all of it. It's amazing fun, and we'll see you guys on the next one.